IBM Watson services include services for text-to-speech and speech-to-text. Watson includes multiple APIs to take advantage of those services including Nodes and Java. In this demo, we use an IBM Watson Studio notebook and show how we can use those services through an HTTP interface. The first step is to include the services into the project. To do this, we go to Settings, scroll down to Associated Services, select the Watson drop-down option to add a service. The first service we add is the text-to-speech one. The service supports multiple languages. Note also that there is a free light version of the service for up to 10,000 characters per month. Since we already pre-created the services, we can select the existing tab to select our service. We repeat the process for the speech-to-text service. Here too, there is a free service, this one for up to 100 minutes per month. Again, we use a service that we created earlier. Let's go to a notebook to see how we can use them. Since we will save our results to the IBM Cloud Object Storage, we need to get the credentials for this storage. The easiest way to do it is to get the credentials of an existing file. We conveniently have a file in our cloud storage, so we can use the insert to code option to include the credentials into our notebook. The second cell gives us an interface to the cloud storage. Similar code can be generated using the other option of insert to code from a file, insert pandas data frame. We are now ready to use the text to speech service. We include the credentials and create the basic query header used in the other queries. You can find out the available voices through an API call as we can see here. For English, there are multiple choices including one British voice and three American voices. The default voice is the American English voice named Michael, the same voice that was used in Jeopardy. Here we use the American female voice named Allison. This means that the input text, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, gets generated as the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Finally, we write the result to the cloud storage. This way, we can use the result in the second part of our demo where we convert an audio file to text. By the way, the IBM Cloud Object Storage uses a well-known API instead of a proprietary one. Let's move to the next step, speech to text. This should look familiar. We create credentials and generate the basic headers. We can find out which models or languages are available in a similar way we found out about the voices available for the text to speech service. Let's move to converting an audio file to text. For this purpose, our input is the file we generated with the text to speech service. The result can be quite detailed. It could even include timing information and alternative words. We see here that the text we are interested in is under the transcript tag. We can easily convert the input text to JSON and extract just what we are interested in as shown in this last output. There is a lot more that can be done with these two services. Create a free IBM Watson Studio account and start exploring. This is Watson speaking, and I wish you a good day.